Howdy y'all, hope you're all doing good. I had to take off the sweatshirt. I am dying out here. Yeah, there is, whoop. I'm losing now there. There's something wrong going on with my uh, side of my face. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm a little puffed up there. Probably could see it in there. Well, you got the line of the glasses, that don't help. But yeah, <laughs> you see that? A little puffed up. The other side's not too bad, but this side's a, a lot puffier. I don't know why. I feel fine. Who knows? Kind of weird. I, I noticed that earlier today. Looked in the mirror. You know, whoa. But anyway. So, as you can see, as in the last video, yes, I, um... Got a little ahead of myself, lost track of the video, and got it into uh, Buckins live feed and all that, and I put that together. Yeah, not a whole lot. I end up just putting the fuel line on the carb, put the fuel f or the air filter in there, and then the cover on. Just I just wanted to see what it looks like, and I'm liking what I see so far. I like it. For these Mac 10 10s, it is extremely hard to find an air filter. Luckily, the one out of this one wasn't bad at all. I was able to clean it up and reuse it. So it wasn't bad, thankfully. Because these type of uh, filters are not being remanufactured like the standard... Uh, Pro Mac 1010s, that type of style, uh, the Pro Mac 55s, they have a flat one. These ones are not flat, they're, they're domed, so they're, for some reason, they don't remanufacture, remanufacture those. Alright folks, here I did some cleaning up on a few things. We're ready to stick the uh, points and condenser and all that jazz back into the saw. Yes, I'm keeping it in there even though that we're switching over to electronic ignition module. Um, but it's good to have this still in there just um, in case the little module fails or something you're able just to connect the line or if you want to go back to the points that's fine uh, the points on this are actually very well they're very flat they're not corroded well I did clean them up a little bit uh, in previous hand before uh, I took it all apart I cleaned it up and I put my little points file in there and clean clean those points up so yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, and I, I'm sure it would run just fine with it. Uh, usually, when I port a saw, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, electronic ignition, um, just for my sense of ease, because that's I'm just picky that way. It's just you're improving the saw, well, so why not improve the connection, the ignition co connection? So on here, uh oh, I have a couple bolts in the uh, uh, powder coat oven. So I'm going to go grab those real quick. I forgot about those. Good thing I set a timer, huh? Okay, I'm back. That didn't take too long. All right. So we're going to set all this back in there. All right, so the first thing that goes in is obviously the little felt piece. This goes right onto the crankshaft, pretty simple. And then, which I will probably switch that around because the dome side kind of goes, fits right into the back of the condenser plate, cover plate dust plate, whatever you want to call it. And then, this goes right in here. It goes 
slips right on there. Slips on better when you take the key off. But it does go on. Alright. And you just turn it over to where the key or the, the holes are for your screws and whatnot. Sorry, in the itch. All right, so in the itch, just have a few bolts that go through the uh, condenser itself, which uh, just clips on a few things. So this goes in here. This will clip through. Uh, it. I'm going to show you the bottom of this. See how there's a little keyway there, a little slot. It's hard to show you in this. I don't know. I think I stick my finger back in there. Okay, there. That little slot there. That goes where this condenser is. So that'll flip around to the back like that. Um, it's connected to a bolt that goes all the way through. Now, the bottom of that connects to the, goes underneath that head of that bolt. Just like that. And you just tighten that thing down. Pretty simple. This one has a couple of different washers on here. Interesting. Oh, I bet you one goes on this one here. <laughs> no, maybe not. Okay. I know this one goes up here. So now you just, it's a matter of just getting your fat fingers up in there and getting the screw in the hole and screwing it down. And that's pretty much it. You put the cover on. Got a couple of these little um, plastic washers here. They're just little flimsy plastic. That goes on this side of the plate of the cover. And uh, then your flywheel. And that's that. And then I I'll get into more of that onto another video with the flywheel there's um and i have to check with bellhopper again because i don't remember exactly because my memory is crap um i know he take this key out and i could change the timing uh, i believe i want to advance the timing on it i don't remember exactly on per, the particular on a 1010 um i just had to refresh my memory I'm sure I'll rem remember eventually, but I think it might be a little faster to ring up uh, Bellhopper. <laughs> he, he, he'll know. <laughs> I'm sure he'll know real quick. Like I said, I, I can't remember everything. It's hard sometimes uh, for me to remember every single thing. Because I don't work on just old McCulloch's. I work on a lot of newer stuff. Uh, in case some of you are wondering, this is what I do for a living as well. Uh, part of my my business. Uh, one part, I do work a 9 to 5 job as a contractor building hot rods. But the other part of my business... I'm uh I I do this. I work I do small engines and custom paint jobs and all that little stuff, you know, um on smaller stuff. More 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 or less motorcycles. Now I have an LLC uh business and that's what I do. This is what I do. What I show on here are my saws. I, I don't show a lot of my customer stuff if I do I won't say it's my customer stuff except for that ATV he 
you know, I did get a, a little bit of, um, I did get an okay for me to do that. That washer is supposed to go on that screw. Yes, it does. So, yes, this is what I do for a living, believe it or not. Now, this is not a hobby. I mean, it is, but it isn't, if that makes sense. But this is what I love to do. I love playing with saws. Do I have a video out um, showing how to adjust your um, your your uh, points? It's just a matter of looking back on my uh, videos. Oh, that don't go in there. Hmm. I'm thinking ahead of here, ahead of time here, where I want to put the electronic ignition module. Not sure where I want to do it yet. Uh, I'll probably get the coil on next and uh, go from there and see what I want to do with all that. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Put all your bolts or your screws in here into the condenser and then your three screws or two screws in for your condenser itself and then this turns it has a little locking pin yes this is broke I can't find a, another cover but this does work and it's not going to affect anything and then we have one more screw in there to throw in here we're gonna tighten that down and that's that that's that's pretty much it you got a cover um, and then you, your other washers, they go right on here, the little plastic nylon washers, and voila. Then you put your flywheel on. Alright, pretty simple. It's not overly crazy hard. Um, and then there, it, then if you are going to use your points, I do have a video of that. I will make them eventually when I go back to keeping points on something. Most likely not. Try to get away from the points. Uh, the electronic ignition modules. Electronic ignition is perfect. It's more consistent. And it's uh, very reliable. If you don't buy the little cheapy ones. Don't go cheap, too cheap on them. Don't go too crazy on them neither. They're not worth the money. Go on crazy money. Uh, usually about... 15 bucks, 15 to 20 is most I would pay on, uh, on a module. And also, depending on what size you need. If you're going with a bigger saw, you may need a bigger module, but most of them are, are generally the same. It still produces uh, roughly the same amount of uh voltage through there so it's really not that big of a deal so anyway folks that is pretty much it for the night and uh yeah that's uh just putting throwing on your condensers i could show you how to change uh adjust one if you would if you're interested in knowing um i can uh send you the link to that one i'm uh to show you how to uh, do adjust your points and or make a video for you so all right folks that's it for the night uh i hope you enjoyed the little video it's the saw is coming together each and every night yes and uh yeah <laughs> well we're getting there we're getting there it's so close i can finish this whole saw done right now and be done with it but i want to show you all and uh nick wanted to see the progress and uh, the build of the saw. So, all right, folks. I uh, hope you have a good day, night, morning, whatever it is. You're part of the world, um, and.
And uh, y'all be good, be safe, be kind, and please spread the love. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Remember to let's do it.